Hi, welcome back. And this is the second part of the prior video that I had uploaded in learning Portuguese. And by the way, uh, we will be discussing three topics in this video. The first one is about uh, the uh, special sounding letter combination in Portuguese. The second one is about uh, the accent marks, how does accent marks affect the pronunciation in a particular word. And the last one is about uh, stress. Where are we going to put stress in a particular Portuguese word? Let's go first with the first topic for today, and that is the special letter or letter combination in Portuguese. I will be sharing with you five letter or letter combination in Portuguese. The first one is the letter C with some sort of a small tail at the bottom part, and that is what we call a cedilha or cedilha. Um, the purpose of which is to make the letter C sounds like a letter S in the English word C once followed by any other letter other than the letter E or the letter I. If you would recall, uh, letter C once followed by either the letter E or the letter I sounds like the letter S in English. Examples of Portuguese words bearing cedilha are preço, lança, canção. The second one is the combination of the letter C and the letter H, which gives us a sound like the letter SH in the English word shake. Examples are chocolate, cheio, cheque. The third one is the combination of the letter L and the letter H, which gives us a sound like the L-I-O in the English word million. Examples in Portuguese are milhão, ilha, brilhar, calhar. The fourth one is a combination of the letter M and the letter H, which gives us uh, a sound like the letters N-I-O in the English word onion. For example, banho, senhor, cozinhar. The last one is the double R, and if you can recall, I have already discussed it in the immediately preceding video, to which uh, we discussed that uh, the double R produces a sound like that of the English H, but the sound comes from the diaphragm passing it through the throat, which gives it a like a voiced H. Examples are garrafa, corrente, e rational. Now let's go to the second topic for this video, when that is the accent marks. We have four accent marks in the Portuguese language. The first one is the acute accent mark, the purpose of which is to open the vowel carrying the accent mark. For example, lápis, último, diálogo, atrás. The second type of accent in Portuguese is what we call the circumflex, and the purpose of which is to close the vowel carrying it. Examples are preferência, prémio, colônia, islândia. The third one is what we call the tilde, and the purpose of which is to make the vowel carrying it nasalize. Uh, for example, maçã, irmão, corações, sessão. And the last accent is what we call the grave accent, and it only comes into existence uh, by contracting the preposition to or at with the feminine article the or with the combination of the preposition to or at and the pronoun there or aquila. So, to the or at the will become the word a with a grave accent and to that will become aquila. Our last topic for this video is about the stress. 
where are we going to put this transit of our thinking on Portuguese word? You know, this topic is very vital in order for us to sound more natural. Imagine yourself saying computer instead of computer. Imagine yourself saying melody instead of melody. You know what I mean? Now, as a general rule, Portuguese words has a natural stress on the penultimate syllable or the second to the last syllable. For example, cadeira, peixe, documento. Now, the exception to the rule is that when a word ends in either letter L, letter R, letter U, or letter Z. In such a case, the stress will be on the final syllable instead of the penultimate or the second to the last syllable. Examples are danzar, papel, feliz, peru. Another exception to the general rule is that if a particular word carries an accent mark, then the stress shall be on that particular syllable with an accent mark. Examples are possível, irmã. Massa, ultimo. I guess that would suffice for the meantime at the logo.